all my beautiful buds. Welcome back to my channel, Sprouts with Joy. My name is Joy, and if you like to talk about plants, you're in the right place. Well, it is late. It's late at night. Uh, I should probably be in bed, but you know what I thought would be better than sleeping? Repotting some plants. Now, I know it is just dead winter outside. <laughs> And it kind of goes against conventional wisdom in some ways uh, to repot during the winter time. But honestly, I just, I don't care. I, I repot plants during the winter all the time and I've never had any really negative repercussions from it. My plants are growing in similar conditions year round, so I'm not too worried about it. All that aside, um, I feel like I have a mountain of plants to repot and I'm not going to get to all of them today, but I will get through some of them. To start, I'm gonna do my Florida North Florida Ghost and I've been putting off this repot for months now because I, I was like, where the heck am I gonna put this guy? He won't fit on the top of my shelf where I currently have him if I repot him, but like he I, is definitely stunting his growth and I want him to keep growing and I want him to get big, so I'm like, uh, decisions, decisions, but I think, I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna repot him because I know that he is so, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's so root bound. So, I, I do reserve the right to be surprised and be like, oh, he didn't need a repot after all, but I'm pretty positive he needs a repot. But that has happened to me before where I was utterly convinced the plant needed it and they didn't, so. But I, I, I sort of expect to see a pretty root bound plant. I guess we'll find out. Let's, let's see what the damage is, yeah? Come on, okay, he's very stuck to the sides of the pot and it is requiring quite a bit of coaxing. Wow, you are very stuck. Do I have a chopstick in sight? Not one that I can use. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to be gentle. Oh yeah, he's got some roots coming at the bottom of the pot too. If you ever find yourself in this situation, it does suck when it's like a terracotta pot, because then you really have to like shove in some chopsticks around the edges to carve it out. But at least in this case, I should be able to get it out just with massaging this pot, maybe. Dear Lord. Oh, there, oh. Holy moly. <laughs> Ready? Look at that. Oh my gosh. And even the bottom, there's so many roots. It's just a wall of roots. I guess I'll just break this up a little bit. I never know whether I should break up the root ball or just leave it. I'm very torn and undecided. I, you know, you're probably fine either way. I'm trying to kind of let him know that he can go places now. It's okay, he's allowed. Hopefully he doesn't get too angry at me for that, but I think it'll be worth it to refresh the soil. Cause I got this guy about a year ago now, I think. I have not repotted him in that entire time. He's been living in his nursery pot, which he, I will say he had some pretty good soil, which was part of the reason I wasn't in a rush to repot him. But now is the time. And he's going into a delightful, delightful pot. It's an Ivy Main pot. It's my favorite place to buy pots. If all of my pots could be Ivy Main pots, I would be very happy. But alas, you know, they're handmade, so therefore they are quite expensive. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty handsome. I'm gonna keep going with backfilling though. I definitely am gonna need to water him as well after this because he's quite dry. And you know, technically, I think you're supposed to water your plants after you repot them anyways, assuming they're not sopping wet. And I would show you guys that process but I don't think I'm going to because that would require me doing the dishes. Um, 
And I, uh, I did them all this afternoon, but unfortunately, I did not get to them after dinner. <laughs> Which, okay, random thought. Do you guys have any household chores that you actually enjoy doing? Like, they're still chores, but like, you still, you kinda, you're, you don't mind them at all, or you actually might kinda look forward to doing them? Because for me, that's kind of the dishes. I don't like that my back hurts by the end of it. <laughs> But I like the feeling of the warm water and I like to like watch videos while I'm doing the dishes. Uh, so it's kind of a nice little downtime for me, but I'm still like getting things done. So I don't know. Okay, that's pretty handsome. I don't know where I'm gonna put him where he'll be happy. So I'm gonna have to move him around a bit and figure that out because I want him to still have the, the beautiful white creamy leaves as they emerge and that requires quite high light but all things considered okay oh he's so pretty and this pot again it's an ivy main pot and it is beautiful i got a bunch of them for christmas because my husband is awesome wow okay that's a little bit unstable so i think i might press him in a little bit more. Cause I, I did consider putting him up some sort of a pole, but I think I'd rather do a stake cause I'm, I'm worried that the pole would kind of take away from the leaves. So I don't know. Or maybe I'll just continue doing this little chopstick as long as it, it's not even a chopstick. It's like a freaking skewer. Yeah, I don't feel like running down to the basement to grab a bamboo steak. So I'll replace that down the road, but for now, I just stuck this skewer a little bit farther down and I'll grab some plant Velcro to secure this top portion. I wonder, this guy might totally take off growing now. All right, let's get some plant Velcro. Okay, I'm starting to run low. <laughs> I use this stuff so much and I reuse it all the time, but I've been using the same roll for like two years now. I guess it's understandable that I'm starting to run low. Wow. Okay, well, here's the more official look at that. All right, which one do I wanna do next? Um, I guess that might be a good fit. Okay, so this is my Syngonium erythrophyllum. And this plant has been doing so, so, so well. So let's see, do I like this combination? I don't know, I mean, it, it's kind of a, fun contrast, so I'll consider it. I think I prefer it to just plain terracotta for it to be in this white pot, so I don't know. Um, but I do have some cuttings. I think I wanna try to pot up with this, so one second. <sighs> also, <laughs> if it looks like I sit weird, it's because I, I do. I was homeschooled for a lot of my life, <laughs> so I like to joke that that's why I sit like on my feet or, or whatever. Okay, so the, yeah, these are the propagations that I have. And let's see how they're doing. I'm pretty sure they're like, yeah, like that's like one nice looking root right there. See that? That's pretty good. So I'm just gonna pull these out and I'll plan to pot them all together. Assuming they all fit and look good, <laughs> but yeah. Honestly, okay, I will say this plant was not as easy to propagate as I expected it to be. And I think that that experience has been consistent with a lot of people because I've seen some people on Instagram being like, yo, like, did this like not prop very quickly for anyone else? And yeah, I mean, I would say by Syngonium standards, this Syngonium erythrophyllum just propagates a lot slower and I took a lot of cuttings of this plant and I would say it was about 60% of the cuttings survived whereas like my success rate with any other syngonium I've tried to propagate was like 100% or like 95% so yeah not all of them survived by any means and they took a while to root like they were a little bit finicky for me which was funny that's not typical and then let's take a look at these roots and see how they're doing. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's rooted for sure, but it's not like, I would call it horribly root bound. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Wow. Oh, that 
does not smell pleasant. Ugh, I don't like that, not one bit. But it'll be good. I, I'll be happy to get this in a, like a chunkier mix because this has nothing in it except for like this peaty stuff. To be fair, it has pretty much thrived in that, but I'm hoping that it'll do even better in a chunky aeroid mix. And I feel like I normally wouldn't remove quite this much soil, but since it's like such a different mix and it's a really dense mix, it's actually not even a mix at all. It's just that. Uh, I just would rather have a bit more of a fresh start. I'd say this is an awesome plant. It has grown so easily for me in like it you know it gets light but it is lower light than i would usually give other plants if you don't have any grow lights and if your growing situation is a little bit dimmer like say you just have small windows or just like not a whole lot of options when it comes to light for your plants i feel like this one does pretty well right, let's see if i can get this to look good <laughs> I think what, what contributes to its ability to thrive so much in lower light is the fact that the, the undersides of the leaves are like red. And to my understanding, plants that have that are just better at absorbing light from, like it, it's light like bounces off of it, I don't know. I, I don't know the science of it, I just have heard that that's the case. It makes it easier for the leaves to get more light. I don't know, sometimes I forget like what, what seems obvious to me now after years of experience with plants. Just, I mean, it's not... If you're just getting into the plant world, there's a lot of information out there and it's really overwhelming. You you will gradually accumulate knowledge and kind of like also learn by doing, learn by experience. But I totally I totally get it. Like when I think back to when I was a beginner plant parent, it's not easy to discern like what to listen to when it gets late at night like this. I get all rambly. So that's what's happening right now. All right, well, that is pretty dang cute. See that? And yeah, it's a pretty stark contrast in the white pot, but I think I, think I like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of start clearing off some of this stuff. I enjoy cleaning as I go. I'm considering doing this anthurium crystallinum. Currently, he is in moss. And okay, just let's take a moment to appreciate this newest leaf that he put out for me. Actually, I need to I need to come in closer. I'm gonna bring it in. He came out with this leaf so soon after I got him. Like he did not miss a single beat during shipping. Like my gosh. This leaf hadn't even hardened off yet when he started putting out another leaf right here. Which like I'm flattered, but also I'm anxious to get them potted up and I had been waiting for this one to harden off and I was so excited because I was like, okay, this guy, he's he's pretty much done so I'm going to be able to pot him up soon and then <laughs> he started putting out another leaf. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to wait for you anymore. I know it's probably not ideal to bother his root system while he's putting out a new leaf but like, I'm impatient. And also because I'm anxious about Anthurium, this is only my second anthurium. I just don't have as much experience with them. So because of that clear pot it is, and I, I would love to get more clear pots. Like I have, I have a whole bunch of them just waiting, sitting in my Etsy cart, but I haven't taken the plunge yet because I'm not anxious about spending more money, but I also have to, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder he put up two leaves. There are two plants in here. I had no idea. You guys, that's amazing. I bought this as one plant. I mean, hey, I will take that. I will say one thing about Anthurium is that their 
roots are so juicy. Look at that. I will, yeah, I'm still gonna pot, pot these together. Oh, why am, I, why am I standing? I would rather have multiple of the same plant in one pot and have like a big full pot of it than like multiple small plants of the same plant scattered throughout my house, generally speaking. For decor purposes, I can understand the appeal. Like if you wanna have a lot of the same plant and simplify the care and that sort of thing. Oh my goodness, look at that chalk. That's awesome. Okay, so now the pressure is on in terms of how I wanna place this plant in here. Um, I guess I can just kind of do it similar to how it was before. Yeah, I'm seriously hungry. I don't know what to eat. I mean, I ate dinner. I guess it is kind of late at night though. <laughs> oh, I do love having these clear pots because then I can like get rid of the air pockets, which like, I don't know that that's entirely, entirely necessary because I'm sure when we pot in terracotta pots, there are plenty of air pockets to be found, but we just don't see them. But, oh my gosh, and it'll be so fun to see all these anthurium roots coming. Oh, because anthurium roots are so cool. I would say that is pretty dang cute right there. Look! And of course this leaf will come in nice and large. Well, three down. Okay. Who is next? I, okay, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna repot this guy, but this is my Philodendron Dark Lord. And he has been drying out really quickly recently. And from the time that I've gotten him, he never has really taken off for me because, I mean, to be fair, I did get him as a top cut. And so it took him a really long time to root. It took him a really long time to do everything. But I'm just curious. I just want to see what the roots look like. And I I'm will probably put him someplace different because as he is, he's reaching down because he's up on a shelf and the window is technically like a little bit more below him. So he's really like doing like one of these, you know? I would like to correct that. That man's looking like he has scoliosis. <laughs> but I do kind of suspect that he might be root because he's been in this tiny pot for a while and his growth has slowed down. So I just, I don't know for sure, but I just want to check. Okay, his roots are definitely sticking. Let's show me a out. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell, but I think I definitely ripped some roots when I pulled them out. Okay, <sighs> philodendron arabescence in particular has like a really nice smell to it. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but there's a few roots in here that are a bit more brittle. It's not all of them, but some of them are. And that's not too surprising because of I've been through some seasons recently where I neglected my plants just because I was going through a tough time. Ugh. But yeah, speaking of the smell, it smells really good. I don't know. I don't know why, but it just does. Just look at that. These roots are so dark. I mean, yeah, that's probably a bit snug for him, like going back in there. Like, there's not really any space for him to grow. So, I would like to upgrade him. But what is the question? I could put him in terracotta. I could give him like an actual like plank to climb. Here, it's not, that's not horrible in this clear pot. And that would help me, that would enable me to look at his roots a bit more. Or I could chop him up. That's another option. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this wooden pole thingy-majig. And I think I'm gonna use this clear pot. 
I'm a little bit hesitant because I don't know that it's going, like it might just be kind of top heavy. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna put the entire plank thing in the pot um, rather than what I normally would do is staple on some metal skewer things. I don't know, I don't know what they, they're called. <laughs> there are these metal things that I usually will staple on so that I can use more of this piece of wood and that also hopefully kind of protects it more from rotting, but I think I'm just gonna do this and hope for the best. Cause I want to see, like I want the clear pot cause I want to see the roots. I really like this plant. I've had it for a long time, but man, it has not, not reached its full potential yet at all. So again, I got it as an unrooted top cutting and it took such a long time to get it established. It was kind of stupidly ridiculous. So I'm hoping that if I can get it on this pole, get it in a better situation, if I pay more attention to it, and I'm more intentional, all those things, I'm hoping that he will finally, finally be happy with me. <laughs> I'm determined to get those like beautiful big lobe leaves, you know? I don't know if I'm totally in love with the way that this pole is looking right now. We're, we're starting over. We're gonna start over. Sorry, sorry. We're gonna do it right this time. We will do it. This is a little bit weird. It was not entirely planned, but I think it works for now, question mark. Um, I might regret this later, and it is definitely a little, it tilts that direction, <laughs> but I'll lean it up against the wall and hope for the best. Will he even stand by himself? Okay, good. As long as he stands on his own, we're okay. <laughs> Especially once he gets watered, I'm sure he'll be fine as well. That brings us to our final contestant. I don't know why I just did that. So I guess we have options again, and it depends entirely on what we find. Go. Oh, this is my syndapsis loosens. And I, oh gosh, this plant is dry. These roots are so delicate. Makes me so nervous. Okay, it is decided then. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what sort of root system I was gonna be getting myself into. So I prepared myself with a plank and with this terracotta pot that the plank would fit into so that he could climb. But because of what I'm finding here, this root system is very small and very delicate. I vote that she goes into this pot that the Dark Lord was in. It actually works out really nicely. Uh, but first, I do want to wash out this pot. Squeaky clean. Oh, that's probably too much. That may have been too much. Who knows? Okay. I hope that this guy doesn't die. I don't think that he will, but he could. So I might just let him trail for now until he needs a bigger pot. That's pretty dang adorable. Look at that. Wow. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. Do I give him support or do I let him dangle? 
I guess I could always add one later if I feel like he needs it. But for now, I think I'm going to just let him kind of do his thing. Hopefully he doesn't send out a runner. Oh, I don't know. I don't want him to send out runners. Uh, he's, he's probably fine. He's probably fine. Okay. With that, I have very dirty hands, which I don't like, but it's okay. I have a big mess to clean up, but I have plants that are potted. So I'm going to water them. I'm going to clean up and get myself a snack and go to bed because I need to go to bed. This was fun. Uh, I do need to gather the fruits of our labor though. These are the plants we repotted. These are, these are nice plants actually. Philodendron for a ghost, Syngonium erythrophyllum, Syndapsis lucens, Anthurium crystallina, Philodendron <sighs> dark lord. I, I like all of these plants. My son is stirring. Anyways, well, if you guys enjoyed watching me repot. Stop hitting me. Gosh. If you guys enjoyed watching me repot a bunch of plants, I'm glad. I hope that you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.